Silent Venom checks off a lot of boxes on my horror marathon checklist. Giant Snake movie? Yep. Fred Olin Ray movie? Check. Big Star slumming it for a quick paycheck? Definitely. The film stars Luke Perry and Tom Berenger, God, poor Tom Berenger, in a story of snakes loose on a submarine. Snakes, we got snakes! How do they wind up there? Well, I'm glad you asked. A smoking hot snake researcher played by Krista Allen and her assistant, a very entertaining Louis Mandalore, are doing work on a remote island when suddenly the Chinese decide to conduct military drills in the area. Berenger orders disgraced naval captain Perry to pilot a sub there and rescue the duo. Unfortunately, Mandalore decides the snakes are too valuable to be left behind, brings a bunch on board the rescue sub, and then the idiot sailors are all like, hey, let's take a peek at this classified cargo. Maybe just a peek? So really, it's a perfectly logical step from point A to point B. The biggest problem that we have right now is finding four snakes on a submarine when there's a thousand places for them to hide. Okay, well, there's another problem right there, okay? There's, there's a few more than four. What did you do? Tell me you didn't. Oh, come on, Andrea. So I brought on a few more snakes and I should have. Big deal. Okay, big deal. It's not my fault that some idiot sailor went and opened up the container, right? How many snakes did we take on board with us? All of them. All of them? Yeah. So there are 20 snakes on board with us? Yes, ma'am. What about the two big ones? Yes. Huh. And wait a minute. Hey. The film is mainly an excuse to let a bunch of sleepy, exotic looking snakes slither around a decent submarine set, which could be a decommissioned ship for all I know. It looks convincing enough. This is the captain. Emergency snakes have compromised the control room. We need some help now. Also, get ready to see pretty much all the stock footage from the hunt for it October. But there's also two mutant snakes that get loose and grow at a very rapid pace. The hell? Why are there giant mutant snakes? That beats me. Something about the military needing them for bio-warfare and combating a sarin gas attack and whatever dumb generals and admirals say in these kinds of movies. All right, man, give me an update. Captain. Silent Venom is filled with silliness every step of the way. For example, one of the meddling sailors gets bitten by a snake, is bleeding all over the place from the bite, but the ship's doctor has no idea why the sailor is suddenly so ill, unable to find the giant wound the dude surely has. Luke Perry doesn't seem to want to be here very much, but he does manage to liven up just a tad when he learns that there are snakes on his submarine. Snakes? You brought snakes onto this submarine? They were part of our classified research. I don't care what the, I hate snakes. You brought them on here without telling me. I had my orders. I don't care about your orders. I got a dead sailor. I got another one barely hanging on and upstairs. I got the Chinese Navy trying to sink this ship. All in all, Silent Venom is kind of what I want from Fred Olin Ray in a plot like this. It's competent and yet also goofy at the same time, which is all I need to make it a recommendation.